Vladimir Putin's army of hackers posed as North Korea to launch crippling cyber attack. Russian hackers posed as North Korea to launch a horrific cyber attack on the South that crippled Internet, broadcast systems and the Pyeongchang 2018 Olympic Winter Games website. U.S. intelligence agencies have claimed that during the hugely popular sporting event, officials speaking under anonymity stated that spies from Vladimir Putin's main intelligence director at GRU agency had targeted up to 300 computers related to the Olympics as of early February. The Russian agency is believed to have hacked routers in South Korea the month prior and then launched a shocking string of new malware on the day the event began. GRU reportedly used Internet addresses and other tactics from the Hermit Kingdom to give the impression that despot leader Kim Jong-un was responsible. Pyongyang officials have admitted that the event was hit with a cyber attack, however, they have not commented on whether Russia was behind them. Although a direct link has not been confirmed, problems caused by the Internet and Olympic website left many visitors anticipating the great spectacle unable to print tickets. Russia appears to have the motivation for such a devastating attack, the country has expressed anger over allegations of doping. Mr. Putin has not been publicly blamed for a hack attack on South Korea. The hack came at a time that the Hermit Kingdom was attempting to play nice with its southern neighbor. Kim Jong Un sent his sister, Kim Yo Jong, to South Korea, who was the first member of the dynasty to cross the militarized border separating the two countries since the Korean War. Although relations between the two Koreas appeared to reach their best stage in years, with the sister of the despot leader issuing President Moon Jae in with a formal invitation to visit the rogue state. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence did not shy away from continuing the U.S. aggressive rhetoric. Vice President Pence declared that Kim Yo Jong was the central pillar of the most tyrannical and oppressive regime on the planet as he skewered those that had heaped praise on the sister. He stated, The sister of Kim Jong Un is a central pillar of the most tyrannical and oppressive regime on the planet, an evil family clique that brutalizes subjugates, starves and imprisons its 25 million people. For all those in the media who think I should have stood and cheered with the North Koreans, I say, the United States of America doesn't stand with murderous dictatorships, we stand up to murderous dictatorships. And we will keep standing strong until North Korea stops threatening our country, our allies or until they abandon their nuclear and ballistic missiles once and for all. In response to the lambasting, North Korea launched a scathing attack on Vice President Pence for daring to defame the inviolable North Korean government. It stated, unpardonable that Pence dared to defame the inviolable North Korean government, terming it dictatorial regime and absurdly slandered our congratulatory missions including the first voice department director of the Workers' Party of Korea, WPK, Central Committee.